Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to color grade your photos and get more professional results using Capture One. So, in this video, I'll be focusing more on color grading. So, in case you don't have Capture One, simply purchase or download Capture One to have to follow this video from the start to the very end. So, I want to show you how to get even skin tones, how to manipulate the color of the background to get a more accurate color, and how to copy and apply the images to the rest or copy and paste the color grading to the rest of the photos from a given kind of photo shoot or session. So let me show you the before and after. This is the image before. Let me show you the before. This is the before and this is the after before after. So I'll just come and reset this so that we can learn how to color grade from the start to the very end. So this is the raw file. So the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to capture is correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image. And by the way, before you go ahead to color grade your photos, always make sure that the color or the monitor or the laptop or the screen you're using is showing you accurate colors because you can't color grade a photo if you can't see the colors right on the monitor or on the screen that you're trying to use to color grade. So that is tip number one. So after that, after importing the raw file into Capture One, I'll simply come and simply correct the lighting and contrast issues. So for this, I prefer to decrease the highlights to recover the blown out dress and I'll do the same for the whites to recover the accurate color or the real color of her outfit. Once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to slightly open up the shadows and I'll take the blacks down. I'll just come and add contrast to this very image. Then I'll come to where you see my levels. And by the way, in case you're lacking any tool in your capture one, what you have to do, come to where these adjustments are, right click anywhere and simply come to add tool. And you can add any tool that you're missing in your capture one. So I'll just come first of all to my levels and add more contrast by dragging the black point in. And I'll drag the white point just like that to add some more contrast into this very image i feel like that is too much so i'm just going to drag this down a little so this is what i have right now once i'm done correcting the lighting and contrast issues and i feel like the image is where i want to color grade it this is where i go it into getting a perfect kind of skin color or skin tone so you have to take into consideration what the skin tone color of this model was like when you're trying to shoot or when you are doing the photo shoot so you can see what i have right here i'm just going to scroll back up and you can see in capture one we work with layers you can see we have the image layer so on the image layer i was basically doing the basic corrections regarding light and contrast then when it comes to skin tone color grading i'll be doing it on to the person's skin so in capture one we have the layer mask that is for the people. So just click on the drop down arrow and choose whichever thing you want to be affected by the color grading. So in most instances, I'll also check the hair option because I don't want most of the times to miss out these lines within the hair of the subject. So I'll check body skin, face skin, eyes, eyebrows and hair. And once I'm done doing that, you can as well click on create mask or you simply click on the people option. And this is going to automatically use AI to select the options that you selected. So when I press M on the keyboard, you can see it has created a slightly perfect mask for me. Once I'm done doing this, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to scroll down to where you see skin tone. So press M to hide the mask. So scroll down to skin tone get the color picker tool so skin tone is under color editor so select skin tone and pick or get the color picker tool then like i said you have to take into consideration what the initial color of your subject was when you're trying to shoot the image so what i will do i'm just going to come and i click i'll sample from about this very area of her body because i feel like that is close to what the subject is skin color or skin tone was like when I was trying to shoot the image. So I click to sample and as soon as I sample that very area, it is going to choose or show the colors that fall within 
the, that color range. You can start to have yellows, reds, oranges, and some magentas in the sampled area. After that, scroll down to where you see uniformity. So I start by moving the uniformity slider so that I can make the skin color as uniform as possible. So I'll just come to where you see hues and I'm just going to move the hue slider forward like that while I'm looking at the photo or while I look at the image. And as soon as I move that, you can see that the skin is going to be having a uniform color. So we are basically hewing the colors in the rest of the skin to look like the sampled color but i'll as well move the saturation slider forward like that and this is going to ensure that we have a better looking kind of skin color or skin tone so you can see right now the skin looks better so in case you move these sliders and the skin is looking too reddish or too greenish you come to where you see amount right here and under amount you have the hue option so this is going to control the amount of reds or greens that you want in the skin tone so you're just going to move this forward and by moving that forward you're going to be introducing more greens into the skin and by moving this towards the left hand side you're introducing more reds or magentas into the skin tone so i'll basically move this towards the greens to add a tiny bit of greens and i could as well take the saturation slider down to reduce on the intensity of the colors in the skin once i'm done doing that i'm just going to come to our basic panel right here and in basic i'm going to select the oranges because i feel like it is too orange in this case i'm just going to come to where you see saturation and slightly desaturate the oranges from the skin and hue or introduce a little bit of greens into the oranges so you can see right now the skin looks good and it looks better but i feel like it's a little bit pale so what i'll do i'll instead move the saturation slider of the oranges forward just a little bit to add more contrast and i'll take the lightness of the oranges down just like that around negative 0.3 so like i said when you're trying to mask out the subject using capture one sometimes it may not look a little bit accurate so by simply coming to this layer mask and getting the brush tool and when you press m it is going to show you where you have to eliminate given color grading so what i'll do i'll just zoom in by using ctrl plus on the keyboard you can use command plus and you can see when you get the brush tool and you paint over these other areas using the brush it is going to include all these areas that were not initially included into the selection of the skin of the subject. So I'm just going to do a rough one right here. So in case you want to eliminate, for example, color from the lips, just come and get the eraser tool and you can simply erase the color from the lips so that you don't affect the lips of the subject, just like that, to reveal the initial color of the lipstick. So for whichever areas that you don't want to be affected, just use the eraser tool to erase colors. So press M to reveal the initial image. So once you're done color grading the skin, you can as well manipulate the background. So for this case, my background was, was gray. So in order to have the background looking gray, you can come back to this layer and mask option and click on background and capture one is going to automatically help you select the background so you can see that i selected the background so when i press m on the keyboard you can see it is the background that is going to be highlighted by this so what i will do i'll press m once again to hide the mask and come to the kelvins and simply cool down the background to make my subject pop even more and this is going to make the background look gray and make the subject pop in this case so right now we are done color grading this very image so in case you have a number of photos from this photo shoot that you want color grade simply come to adjustments and you come to copy adjustments then select the image that you want color grade from the same session that is for the same model or subject and come to adjustments and click on apply so we are copying and applying the adjustments to a new photo or 
to a new image. So right now it is done pasting the color grading. So in case you don't want the background to be affected, in this case, you can simply come and deactivate the background option or the background layer in this case. So you can see I've color graded. You can say before and after for this very image. So you can say before and after, before and after for the color grading. And let's look at the before and after for our first image. So you can see this is the before and this is the after. So this is how you can use Capture One to color grade and get the best out of your photos when it comes to photography and people that do portrait photography. I hope you have learned a thing or two from this very video. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you have been watching and you aren't subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.